Hi guys! Um, today I'm going to be showing you how to prepare some vegetables that are quite often prepared the wrong way. Uh, you go to a restaurant and you have some beautifully roasted vegetables and they're nice and chunky and they're nice and rustic and they're tender on the inside and they're crispy on the outside and you go home and you try to prepare them at home and it doesn't turn out the right way. So that's because there's a two-step process in a few of these vegetables that you need to do. You can't just chuck them in the oven from raw. So today I'm going to be showing you a few tips, uh, a few instructions. We're going to be going over parsnips, carrots, aubergines, sweet potatoes, and courgettes. So we're going to go ahead and clear our space here, get our veg out, and I'm going to start showing you how to prepare these vegetables the right way. Right, so the first thing we're going to want to do is put a pot of water on boil and we're going to do our carrots and parsnips in a steamer so we can par cook them ahead of time. I also have a bowl of cold water here because the sweet potatoes really need to be stored in a bowl of cold water after you peel them. They're a bit like apples, they tend to go brown and black um, if you don't store them in water. Um, that's my steamer basket and um, it's fairly simple to find. You can get that in any ironmongers or supermarket. It's actually really invaluable. Um, I don't have a lot of electronic gadgets in the kitchen to use so I use that in a large pot to steam my veg. Um, I'm going to want to make sure that I cut all my veg into similar size wedges. Um, my carrots and parsnips, I just leave the peels on because I like that rustic look and uh, there's a great deal of fiber in the peels. All of our veg are washed before we get them anyhow, so there's no need to peel them. The courgettes and the aubergines, again, I want to peel the, or cut them so they're equal in size. And once the carrots and the parsnips are par cooked, so they should still be firm when you poke them, but not rock hard in the middle. Um, I'm going to go ahead and split them um, up onto trays here. I'm going to have my carrots, parsnips, and some sweet potatoes with a sweet and savory Mexican uh, kind of spice mixture, which is going to be some honey, some cumin, chili, and smoked paprika and then my courgettes, aubergines, and the other half of the sweet potatoes, I'm going to put a chili oil and um, Herb de Provence, which is a rosemary, thyme, and lavender mixture. I'm gonna put all these in the oven for about 20 minutes at about 190 degrees. Um, I don't like my veg to dark so I tend to take them out a little bit earlier. I would recommend keeping it in for about 25 minutes if you like a nice hard fired edge to your veg. Um, and these are great to prepare ahead of time and freeze for later. Hi everybody, so the veg is ready. It's been in the oven for just under 20 minutes at 180 degrees. So I'm gonna take these out so you guys can have a look at them. And I can show you that we've done them the right way. All right, so first one's out, my courgettes and my aubergines. And like I said, I don't like a lot of color on my veg. I like them slightly colored. So there's still a bit of bite with these courgettes. They're not too floppy. And um, my sweet potatoes are cooked all the way through. And just like the courgettes, my aubergines still have a bit of bite to them. They do tend to go a little bit soggy. Um, it's just the nature of aubergines, but they're cooked all the way through. So I'm quite happy with those. Uh, if you like them a bit crispier, I would see maybe leave them in the oven for about 25 minutes. Now my carrots and aubergines are gonna appear a little bit darker because I use the smoked paprika on them. But as you can see, the uh, parsnips by their nature have tiny little ends so these ends tend to go really hard there's not much you can do about it I leave them on because like I said my partner likes his stuff well fired so he'll eat that he'll be happy with that but my carrots are cooked all the way through if you want to just give them a wee poke there's uh, there's no resistance when you're poking it through with the knife 
they've got a nice color on them and my sweet potatoes you can see they're wriggly so when the sweet potato is still stiff that means it's not cooked all the way so that's your veg so um i will put these instructions on the discover cooking web page in the blog section just the, the the prep instructions i'll put a few recipes on there as well different spice mixes that you can use for these and um, go ahead and give us a like here um, on instagram and also on youtube and um, if you would uh, comment on either one of the videos that would be greatly appreciated if you have any questions at all feel free to leave a comment below we'll answer your questions and don't forget to follow us on facebook and twitter and i'll see you next time bye